Good evening, everybody. It is Sunday, April 19th. Coming at you again with another late night video. How was your weekend? It was good. I had a pretty relaxing weekend. Just gaming. <laughs> I'm just gonna do one every day, it's just gaming. Um, today, I actually watched uh, my next movie in my Oscar watch of the 2013 Oscars. Tonight was Lincoln. And uh, Lincoln was a film about Abraham Lincoln, uh, President of the United States during the Civil War. And it was directed by Spielberg, who is an amazing director. And he was nominated for Best Director, along with this movie being nominated for Best Picture. Daniel Day-Lewis, who played Abraham Lincoln, was nominated for Best Actor in a Leading Role. Tommy Lee Jones was nominated for Best Actor in a Supporting Role. And Sally Field was nominated for Best Supporting Actress. Um, she played Mary Todd Lincoln, the wife of Abraham Lincoln. Uh, I believe it was also up for Best Cinematography and Best Adapted Screenplay. And something of note, yesterday, not yesterday, Thursday, Thursday's vlog, I had misspoken, or not misspoken, but forgotten that Jackie Weaver was also nominated for Best Supporting Actress in Silver Linings Playbook. Um, out of the two so far, I liked Sally Field's performance better. She played Mary Todd, who I guess had mental illnesses of her own to deal with. Um, Abe Lincoln also had some, so they kind of... I don't know if they really directly said anything about Abraham Lincoln, but they kind of hinted at it with Daniel David Lewis's performance. And Sally Field, um, I believe they mentioned something about her being crazy, but, um, and actually multiple times she talked about how, oh, they're going to talk about her and how she negatively influenced Abraham Lincoln. But it's something I didn't really know. I had seen this movie before, and it's, it's something I didn't notice the first time, was her mental illnesses coming to light. And I guess they say she may have had bipolar disorder. They were definitely thinking some kind of depression. It's kind of interesting to think about prominent historical figures having these things. At least to me. Because you just picture, like, it's almost like a picture-perfect thing, right? It's, oh, it's Abraham Lincoln, right? Yeah. He's the one that pushed for the abolition of slavery in the U.S. Oh my gosh. And you never think that he could possibly have depression. And, or his wife, for that matter. Um, so those two things kind of made that movie a little interesting the second time around. I also think it's a great movie. I think it's, to me, it's Spielberg's best movie since Catch Me If You Can. Um, no, I haven't seen every movie since then of his, but at least that's the ones I have seen. I think it's my favorite one since Catch Me If You Can. And I have also seen, what else was nominated for an Oscar? Um, the Post with Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep was nominated for an Oscar. And Bridge of Spies. I don't know if that was nominated for Best Picture. It might have been. I think it might have been. Um, <clears throat> but I, I think Lincoln is his best one since Catch Me If You Can. And I think it predates the movies. The two movies I just said. Um, yeah, overall, great movie. Daniel Day-Lewis, uh, if you don't know who he is, he's a fantastic method actor. And it shows <laughs> in his movies. He did an amazing job as Abe Lincoln. Uh, this is already my front runner for best actor for this Oscars. Um, again, I don't know all the winners for these Oscars. We're going back in time, and I'm going to remember less and less as we go back further. Uh, but essentially what I did, just to recap for those of you who didn't see it the first time, um, I think this started last year for the 2019 Oscars. So, like, over a year ago. I had started back filling nominees for the movies that my friend and I watch for Oscar movies. Starting with the 2013 Oscars and going backwards in time. Because we had watched 2014 and on. 
during the year that it happened. So it's kind of our way of going back and enjoying these Oscar movies that we watch every year, just in a different way. And the hard part is that obviously, obviously for the year we're doing it, we don't know who's going to win. And so we're watching for the first time with everybody else with the anticipation of like, oh man, I wonder if my pick's going to win. And it's a little different now because we already could possibly know who won. So for instance, I know which picture won Best Picture this year. You know, there's just certain years that I know certain either movies or actors, actresses won for their roles in movies as far as who we want to win, who we think the Academy will pick. We're going to try and be unbiased if we know the answer. Um, and I'm not sure... I, I think Daniel Day-Lewis won the best actor in a leading role for this year that we're watching, but I'm not positive. But he's definitely my front runner so far. Obviously, I've only seen Silver Linings and um, Lincoln in this rewatch. Um, I've seen, as I said it before in a previous video, I've seen a handful of these movies, but I'm doing a rewatch of all of them just to put it in the in the front burner, the front of my head, so it's not just like me trying to recall how good it was. Plus, I'm in a more like mature state, you know. That makes a difference in my viewing, at least. And having done this for several years, I kind of have a new. I wouldn't say like taste for movies, but a new understanding, I think, of how movies are made and how roles are betrayed by actors. So it could be something that I didn't like before that I like now and vice versa. So with that said, right now Daniel Lee Lewis is my pick over Bradley Cooper for Best Actor. Um, Sally Field is my pick over Jackie Weaver for Best Supporting Actress. I, um, between the two for Best Picture, I'm not really sure. I'm leaning towards Silver Linings. Um, but I, I just don't know. And they were both up for Adapted Screenplay. So I think whichever one I end up choosing between the two for Adapted Screenplay slash Best Picture, they're, they're, it'll be the same one. Um, cinematography was really good. I thought, at least. There were some, like, subtle long takes, which I guess Spielberg is known for his wonders. Um, so there were a couple where I noticed, oh hey, this is kind of like a slow ease, like a slow zoom as Daniel Day-Lewis was talking. So there was like, a, one scene in particular I remember, he was in like a meeting with his cabinet and it started with the entire table and it slowly kind of panned and zoomed into just Abraham Lincoln as he was kind of getting more personal with his speech. I thought that was a nice touch because it kind of like, it shoves everybody else out while it's like focused on him and his emotions and how he's feeling about whatever the speech was. And then it pans out after he's done, it cuts to show behind Abe as everyone's reaction. And it's one of those subtle things that I don't think I would have noticed before I had started doing these Oscar movies as a, like a little hobby. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think that's good enough for my review, my short review of Lincoln. I think what I'm going to do once we're done, once I'm done watching through all of these, is I'm going to put like all my thoughts down, try and get everything organized, and share my findings with you for the overall who I want to win, who I think the Academy will pick, and why. I'll make that like a video of its own. So let me know if you want to see that or not. But I'm probably going to do it. Um, and I think that's going to cover it for tonight's vlog. I'm going to go play some Animal Crossing. <laughs> so I uh, hope you all are doing well. It is Sunday. And uh, I hope you have a great week coming up, whether you're working or at home with quarantine. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz down below. I'll see you tomorrow with another vlog. Stay safe, stay healthy. Peace.